Hello, welcome to the reading room with Sippy here. And today we're going to do a pick a card reading and it's on how do your co-workers, colleagues perceive you, your reputation. All right, so time stamps down below. Choose your group, take your time, enjoy your reading and I'll see you there. Hello, group one. So let's find out the energy and or the vibe that you're putting out is how grateful you are. And... That you can make almost anything happen. Like you just have this magic around you. And that you're well put together emotionally. You feel strong and and uh, stable and dependable. And you know, you're just well put together. And you bring out some good positive uh, vibes and feelings um, in your surroundings. So, um, oh, this one says... I'm just going to read it right off because it just seems like that's kind of the way it should go. I claim my power and lovingly create my own reality. I ask for understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experience. Wow, I like that. Okay, so, um, well, so far... People like how upfront you are, how they can look you in the eyes and feel that um, strength and confidence and that you're saying what you mean or that you're um, that you say things as they are. So your reputation is your word. It's what you say. You mean what you say. You also have this way of putting out what you want. How you want things to go is usually how they go. Like you put out your emotions and you let people know, hey, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I want. This is how I would like to see it. Or, hey, let's embrace this. Or whatever it is, you put it out there and you make it happen. So when people, when you're around uh, your coworkers, your colleagues, they feel good. They feel confident. They feel like empowered. They feel like you bring out the best in people. They also know that you hold back. Like you're not, you don't just put yourself out there and give all your information or all um, yourself to people. Of course not. You're very reserved and, and you keep things to yourself. You may also keep secrets, um, other people's secrets, your secrets. Situations uh, may be kept to yourself. You don't always like share and they know that and you hold on to that pretty good. So even though you're like out there being appreciative and making things happen and making your environment feel good, you don't share all of you. That's something that they're picking up. I'm going to choose some words and then I'm going to put some cards with those words. What are words that they would use if they're talking about you or um, or they're even thinking just, you know, what are some words that come to mind? I feel like there's more. Oh, well, there you go. There was more. Hmm, that one too. Okay. So words that come to mind are inspirational. That sort of goes with what we were saying, isn't it? Multitasker. Hardworking. Generous. Observant, imaginative, enable, result driven, inquisitive, a mediator, respectful, insightful. So, those are what comes to mind. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out some uh, cards with those words. Oh, celebrate you and team worker believing in what you're doing. Okay, so when you have a point of view, you don't mind discussing it. You don't mind putting it out there and making your uh, point known. It's not like something that you're going to back off or shy away. This is how it should be. This is what I believe in. Um, others are doing what they got to do and, and you're not going to interfere with others. You know, you're just going to put your point out. So if somebody comes to you and says, hey, this is not the way it should go. Um, I believe in something else. You're going to stand firm and you're going to uh, put out the reasons why you believe in what you believe. So, you know, and you're definitely going to celebrate uh, your success at every chance you get, you know, and you bring people along with you. So if uh, it's successful and you can bring your coworkers or your team, then, you know, you'll bring them with you. It's not like you it's not like you have to do all the work by yourself. And you'll also, um, if somebody does something, you'll definitely, uh, point them out and say, Hey, this is their part. They, they brought this to the table. You believe, you believe in what you're doing. You believe in, in, uh, your the way you go about doing things people are really satisfied with you they really enjoy how you make things happen okay so i'm going to pull out some cards here some messages whoa it says fear kills more dreams than failures ever will hmm I'm going to take these two and this one. This one says, don't be busy, be productive. You are respected. You are braver than you think, more talented than you know, and capable of more than you imagine. So this is, um, I feel like it's something that you're feeling about yourself. You don't, you don't have all the confidence or you don't believe as as much as your co-workers. The co-worker sees you bigger than you see yourself. You could do a lot more if you want it. So what they see is not even your full potential. Yeah, but you are respected for sure. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Hello, group two. So, um, the vibe you're putting out is, uh, what you see is what you're receiving. You're putting out, uh, definitely, you're reflecting what you want to reflect. Or you're seeing things as they are. Or they're seeing things as they are. You're, um, also a pretty good person, but you try to keep yourself safe. Or maybe you feel... Like you're um, protected when you're in a more closed environment, when you put yourself in there. You can leave at any time, of course, and you can step out. But um, it seems like you protect yourself. You put a barrier around you. They see that. That's what your coworkers see, you know. And I'm going to read this message right here. My work is deeply fulfilling. Today I give my best to that which I'd, knowingly that when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experience. Okay, leave that there, that's really nice. So here, oh wow, you're definitely um, someone who is uh, boss material, for sure, I mean... They believe in you. They believe in what you're capable of doing. They believe in your strength. Um, they look up to you. They respect you. They see you in authority. Um, but yeah, you could do no wrong. I mean, you have this uh, presence that is huge. Also, you bring good things in. You are definitely a money maker. You can make them money. They see that they can uh, follow you and uh, yeah, definitely... Uh, Make money with you. 
you bring out your inspiration, your ideas, you put yourself out there. It's bigger than life. You believe in yourself, so they believe in you. You're bigger than life to them. Something huge. You demand how you are is and how you look at others is what you demand. You demand the same reaction, same treatment, same uh, respect. You do need your, your time on your own. You don't like to be bothered all the time. You like to find your own space. Okay, this is what your co-workers are saying and, and or your colleagues. That's how they see you, right? That's what how they perceive you. They see that you are someone who is um, once made up your mind. You don't like to change it. You're very stubborn. You don't uh, budge. It doesn't matter. Um, your opinion is the opinion. Once decided, that's it. No, no going back. Oh, you, you're a hard worker. You definitely have choices. You can work at other places if you want it. They see that your potential is uh, in demand. And yeah, and the way you work and the way you're satisfied with your job and you know uh, that you chose something that you want and, you know, but they know that your talent is farther than that. I mean, bigger than that. You can definitely um, have your pickings. You're, they feel that you're going to leave them, that you're going to leave this job, that you're going to choose something else or go farther in life. This is not, this is, uh, they also, they may feel that this is a, a fork in the road, a, like a stepping stone, something that you're doing now for, because you, it's going to prime you or get you set up for later. So they don't see uh, working with you for long. Um, the coworkers uh, see your potential and feel that you're you're going to uh, do more or go someplace else. Mm. They feel protected by you. They feel that you are someone that will fight for them. They feel inferior to you. They don't feel that they're able to do the same, or that they feel, or they also may want you to take them along and and uh, show them the way. But you also release stress. You, when you're there, uh, whatever was bothering them seems to be like, okay, that's going to be working out. You give them hope. You give them ways to fix or things are going to get fixed. I'm going to pull some words and see what they say. Oh, one already come out. Ambitious. Okay. So, um, adaptable. Intellectual down to earth now that one I didn't pick but positive but actually you would be yourself as is you know balanced I mean they're thinking that but that's something that you really are is down to earth and balanced and positive and adaptable <laughs> and ambitious and talented they really describe you well mm, gonna gra grab a few more I don't feel like those belong, so I took them out. <laughs> okay. Hardworking, articulate, creative, and kind. So those are, those four words, I feel like they're specific. Like somebody, not all your coworkers will feel this way, but some of your coworker or all coworker. Yeah, let's find out uh, if there's another message, something else that they may want to say to you or you may want you to know. Oh, that's reverse. You have the lover cards, but that's uh, really enjoying and being happy with you. Embracing you, taking you in, making part of the family. Mm. Yeah, they see you on the go. They definitely see you on the go. You're letting something go. You're, you're definitely uh, 
full of stress where you are. And they, for them, I mean, they would wish you to feel um, that they accept you and want you and you're part of the team. Also, that your work is uh, valued and, you, and they see your work. Because you have a lot of stress, you may not see or understand that they have appreciation for you, appreciation for your work. They want you to know that they care and they would like to lessen your stress. You hold on to that pretty tight. But then that's the type of person you are because you do like to be on your own because it uh, alleviates some of that stress. I'm going to pull out some messages for you. And these are for you. It says you are strong. You are powerful. It is easier to do a job right than explain why you didn't. Hmm. Whoa. I feel like this one and no? Yeah, this one. This one too. And no. Okay. So it says dreams don't work unless you do. You are brave and you are wise. So that's uh, something that uh, messages for you. You may be not uh, realizing how strong and powerful you are and how, if you put the effort in, how much it shows, how much people see you as being brave and you're wise. And um, yeah, so there are all your messages. Okay, so I'll leave you there. Hello, group three. So I'm going to turn these cards over. Um, yeah, wondering, deciding. You need to let things go. They see you letting things go. This is the vibe you're putting out is that you're content, you're happy where you are, you're happy as a person, you're feeling great who you are, you're confident. You are always learning, always want to learn. This is a message for you. I am at peace with my age. Each age has its own special joy and experience. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. Now that's a good one. Your co-workers and colleagues are perceiving you. Oh, there's some cards here. Oh, well, I feel like they belong. So here I'm receiving that you have a lot of strength, but you rush in. You bring um, past issues to work and you just rush forward you're in a good place or you have good experience you brought experience in you may not have the experience you need for this particular job or you're learning in this particular job but you have a lot of relevant uh, past experience or you held a job that was um, valued in this particular job that you're going to be doing now so your co-workers see that um yeah, maybe you don't have everything you need, but you're not afraid to jump in and uh, learn because of your experience, you're capable. Mm, you have to rethink and figure it out. And there's a lot of work that you need uh, to do. And your ideas, your concepts, uh, how you go about doing things has to be uh, rearranged, reevaluated. You're not always um, in the right direction because of the way things were for you in uh, another place. When you come to them, things have changed. Things are not the same and you need to adapt, adjust, learn. You know, you leave a lot behind your, your old ways or the other ways that you were working. Um, you're leaving them behind. And but you're going in with a good attitude, good positive attitude, and you're making the experience good. So this is what they see. You're definitely uh, someone who uh, is going to put out the work and you're going to do a good job and you're going to climb up pretty fast. So they don't expect you to take uh, long to get where you need to be and you're going to have your respect and given the credit and 
the coworkers uh, know that you're going to do well. So they believe in you. They believe in what you're doing and how you're going to go about doing it. They see the strength that you have um, that, and that you're capable. They see you in a good light. So I don't know if you're older and you're switched to career and you're going to this one and now you have a lot of adjusting to do or you're just young and you may have had a job which they taught you a certain way but this is a new way of working and you have to adapt you know I don't know like there's a few scenarios I'm picking up oh, this one too well, the, the co-workers or your colleagues see that you can make it happen, that you, they have no doubt. They believe in you. They believe in your skills. They believe in uh, that everything is possible. Yeah, <laughs> it might be a new beginning, but for them, it's going to go by pretty fast and things are going to be the way they should be. So for you, um, this place might be new, but not for long. Okay, so I'm going to pull out some cards. So you don't have a lot, a huge reputation here because for them, you're, you haven't been around them a long time. But the short time that they've got to know you, they feel that you're, you know, you're capable and, and they're basing their opinions on this uh, short time and what they feel that's going to happen. I don't see the word, so I don't know. Seems like there's a lot of words for you, so I, I'm gonna go with the, those. Seems like there's an awful lot of opinions. So I don't know if you're working with a larger group or a lot of people, or a lot of people have eyes on you. And even if they're not your colleague, let's say on a certain job, they feel like they ha their input matters or they're involved maybe in, in extensions or branches of the job. Not sure. It seems like there's a lot of people have an opinion of you. Okay, so dependable. Multitask. Ethical. Realistic. Loyal. Work in progress. Engaged. Creative, meticulous, balance, focus, analytical, adaptable, energetic, and hardworking. All right, so I'm going to pull out some cards in case one more message. Is there another message? Do we have another message? Something we need to know? Oh, things are wide open for you. Do not worry. Things are wide open for you. You may not know where you're going or headed, or you might not see your potential or see the potential what's up ahead, but it's definitely there. Your path is wide open and will be lit as you go. <laughs> so you have no difficulty learning this job or learning what you need to learn or do what you need to do. Okay, so I'll pull out some messages for you. It says, dreams don't work unless you do. <laughs> so you got to work on your dreams. <laughs> okay. A true team player wants the same amount of light to shine on everyone. Yeah, I felt that that was, uh, there was a lot of people... So it's just showing that there is. Okay. You are wise. You are powerful. Self-belief and hard work will always earn you success. I feel like there's one more, so I'm going to pull it. This one. Be the energy you want to attract. You are important. I feel like these are comments. You have a lot of messages, but I feel like they're all meant to be. So we are what we repeatedly do. 
Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Every job is self-portrait of the person who does it. Autograph your work with excellence. Wow, okay. Invest in people that invest in you. So there are all your messages. Okay, so I'll leave you there.